Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, hi y'all, how's it going? This is Down the Rabbit Hole, and here we talk about random topics of history, urban legends, curses, just random topics where we can really just go down the rabbit hole and discuss. Um, if you're new here, hit the like button or the bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe. Um, this is the Sister Podcast, the True Crime Lounge, Dark Academia Queen, Sassy Sun Bell, and just a breezy chat. Now, today we're going to be talk- going all the way to Tokyo for this episode, and we're going to be talking about something that happened even before it delayed a year of the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. So, today, that's right, today we're going to be talking about the Tokawa, Tokawa Course. Curse. I'm going to do my best to pronounce it, but I suck at names, so I'm apologizing in advance. But, like I said, even before it was delayed a year and almost canceled entirely, the, 20, the 2020 Olympics were running into a lot of troubles. Japan Times says that this reminded people about the curse and supposedly that it's placed on Tokyo and the area around the Olympic Stadium, in particular, the Taku no, Takua Curse. Um, and according to the Guardian, in the 10th century, there was a man named Mastakato, who posthumously dubbed the first, who was dubbed the first samurai, decided he had been chosen by a sun goddess to be emperor. And the actual emperor was not happy about this, especially when Mastakato took over two provinces. A bounty was put on his head, and he was killed. Now, rumors began to spread about him and his mom that his mom was a serpent, his head held for a body and flew away. Butterflies and rainbows appeared right before his rebellion, and his daughter moved into his ruined fortress, or she took up necromancy and built an army of frogs. Trying not to laugh here, I promise. (laughs) But anyway, what Mascasado had really done was show the emperor wasn't all powerful, and soon others rose up and uh, Takawa- Takuawa Shogunate ruled Japan for the next 250 years. And emperors, in all but name, once once they were overthrown in 1868, the bad that happened in the area near Mascasado's grave was blamed on the curse. And Interesting connection to the 2020 prince, um, Takawa Alesto, had was no longer in charge of the family and was tasked. Um, and, it, and he was tasked with um, organizing the 1940 Tokyo Olympics. And if you wonder why you've never heard of those games, it's because they were canceled due to what? World War II. Unfortunately, I think that was a good reason for those to be canceled, if you ask me. But following the Sinako period, um, aka the Warning Stakes period, the central government had largely reestablished the Odo, Oda Nobunga during this period, and after the Battle of Sekihara in 1600, the central authority would fall to this family. And while many who fought against him were extinguished or had their heads holding reduced, um, he also was committed to retaining the Demnos in the hand as components of a new shogunate, and who sided with him was rewarded and so- seen former vassals made um them the ha- domains um and were located strategically in the country. Now to the Sankin Kati Pike. Kotai party in an effort to constrain rebellions. Um, it mandated that the house of wives and children of the Domenios in the capital be capital as hostage. So you're probably wondering what is what's some of the history behind this? Well, in 1616 there was a failed attempt for invasion of Taiwan. Um, and then a long period of peace occurred between the siege of Osaka and the Keelan Uprising in 1651. And this period saw, like, uh, Bakofu prioritized civil administration. And trade under the reign saw much new wealth and created mining and goods manufacturing and everything. 
Now, the rains did see a rise of um, agriculture and the fall in tax revenue in the early 1720s, but as a result, he pushed Kyoho um, reforms to repair the finances of it and everything. Now, what was the society in this period like? Well, unlike the previous ones, it was supposedly based on a strict hierarchy that was originally established by um, Toyo Tommy Hadishio. The lords were at the top, followed by a warrior caste of samurai, and then there was like farmer, artisans, and traders, and everything. So and it was largely in the largely fl inflexible nature of the social stratification system unleashed a disruptive force over time. Taxes of peasantry were set at to a fixed amount and did not account for the inflation and everything. Now, by the mid-18th century, both the sh shogun and the lords were hampered by financial difficulties, whereas more wealth flowed to the merchant class, and peasants' uprisings also began. Now, where does this surf system begin to sound like it takes place? Yeah, if you're thinking about Russia, you are correct, is where my mind went to. Now, what about Christians during this period in Japan? Well, followed by the Catholic Christians, they first began appearing in Japan during the 16th century, and Oda and Nabonga embraced Christianity and Western technology was imported with it, such as a musket, and he saw it as a tool used to suppress the Buddhist forces, and though Christianity was allowed to grow until 1610, it soon began to be seen as a threat to stability and everything. But, yes. Alright, that is it for this episode. Uh, join me next time as we talk about the Zulu Royal Curse. I can't wait to talk about that one. And everything. And then we're going to be talking about a dollar princess by the name of Mary Stevens, who went by Minnie.